In planning decision making, you really do need speed. People need to know answers as quickly as possible. That's people on both sides. But a full public engagement has to take time. The real question is whether that can be balanced then with getting, um, getting your decisions through as quickly as possible, whether you can get the certainty that you, that you need to get investment. Well, the balancing act between, say, the environment and growth or uh, public involvement and speed is a balancing act that the uh, that politicians uh, have different opinions on. The uh, different governments will always strike that balance in slightly different places. The question is whether they do that through uh, policy or whether they do that through changing the, the balance of power within the legislation. It can be the perception that, a, uh, that an individual doesn't have a lot of power in the planning process. Uh, decisions are made by local councillors in the first instance uh, who are the elected representatives of those people and the system is set up on that presumption. Uh, a person who owns land or who might be interested in buying land will put in a planning application, they're in the driving seat for that process. The local authority does its consultation and makes a decision and it takes into account local people's views but local people don't have the control of that process. There are calls for them to have a right of appeal if the local authority takes a decision that they don't agree with. There's been a strong resistance historically to that amongst planning professionals who see the role of the politicians as delivering the will of the, of the locals balanced against all the other factors. Uh, there are real, real concerns that by allowing a third party right of appeal, you generate delay automatically into the system and prevent things happening by possibly years. And if that discourages people investing in Britain, uh, that's, a, that's a big danger.